Hello, this is a short clip to talk to you about how to access remote learning at Oberon High. We will be using the Teams app, which you can see circled here, and we'll also be using, in some cases, the OneNote app, which you can see circled here. It will also be a good idea for your students, or if you are a student, to download the OneDrive app as well. When using Teams, you're going to need to log in using your Office 365 email address and password, which is basically the username and password that you use for most of the things at school. You will be prompted to enter a username, which would be your school student code, followed by at Oberon, which you can see above you. Then you'll need to add in your school email password so that you can access all the apps that are required. Make sure that you, all of these apps use the same username and password because they'll all be talking to each other. So once you've logged in, you'll see a few little images like this. And then there are some certain elements that we want you to be aware of. One of them is the news feed in the activity section, which tells you what's going on and what's coming up. Another important aspect of this is the chat function where students may want to chat directly with their classmates or with their teachers. The files section is where you can keep a lot of your own files. The calls section probably won't be need to be used but is there as well as the calendar function which can sync up depending on which device you're using. If you're using the iPad it could work. Another important one for you to look at is the assignments page. If you click on the assignments button you'll be able to select your subjects and you'll be able to see which assignments are upcoming for that. Here's an example here of some holiday homework that's due for a year 11 psych student. The most important one though however is Teams which you can see has been highlighted down the bottom and the circle on the left is all the classes that this student is connected to. Now once those students are connected to all of their classes they'll be, accessed, be able to access a large amount of information, resources and classes. If you choose a specific subject like year 11 psychology you can click on the posts and this is where you can interact with the entire class. You may want to write something down, just like asking a question in class. For example, where is the homework? You'll see that there's a thread there, a bit like Facebook, where you can follow on and reply to other people's comments as you go. All people in the class can see that. This file section is where you can get access to the files that the teacher has put there. All you need to do is click on the file and it will automatically open. PowerPoint. Word document, Excel spreadsheet, etc. Another element that is important for you is where you want to see your assignments by class. I've shown you this bit already, but this is how you can access it through this view. Okay, and once you click on it, it tells you exactly what your holiday homework is, when it's due, etc., which is very handy. Once you've handed everything in, you'll see something like that. The more important thing to think about is Class Notebook. Not all teachers will use this, but some will. This will take you to another app called OneNote, which we highlighted at the start of the video. The OneNote app is a separate app and it will hold a lot of information. It talks to Teams and Teams talks to it so that all of the things are connected. So if you click on Class Notebook, you will then be taken to this app, which is the OneNote app, and if you're doing it for the first time, you'll be asked to log in. You'll need to log in again using the same username and password that you used for Teams. That is your student code, followed by at oberonhs.vic.edu.au. Because these talk to each other and are connected to the teachers and connected to the school accounts, it's really important that you make sure you do not sign in using your own personal account, even if you have your own personal Microsoft account. Once again, the same password, and it should connect nice and neatly. Once you're in, you will then see that it will sync with the Teams app and for example, if you're in the Year 11 Psychology class, you'll see that notebook has appeared here. Most information from the teachers will appear in what's called the Content Library. As you can see here, there are various pages, for example, how this online learning will work, and then 
This teacher has divided it in by weeks. Each week has an outline of what is to be done per class. Okay, and you can see that when you click into it here, there is some instructions and some resources, as well as some in, uh, information on what to do each lesson and what needs to be handed in. To gain access to those resources, all you have to do is click on the particular resource that has been attached. For example, it might be a Word document. In this case, here is a PowerPoint. You just click on Open in PowerPoint and it will open that app. Each student also has their own notebook where you can access certain information and also store certain information. Teachers will set these up differently depending on the class, depending on the teacher. For example, some might use assessments and they will put a file in there and all that the student needs to do is click on that file, answer the questions and leave it. They don't need to save it anywhere else. They don't need to do anything else. Once it stays there, the teacher can access and read and reply to the content in this section. This can be helpful if you are not great at saving files in one place or you lose them easily, especially on your iPad. Once that is done, you'll see that you can access these offline as well. So once you've logged in once and you can see stuff, then you can also then go back and it should still be there. If you want to insert files, you can do that. You can also insert um, other pieces of information just by clicking the insert button, grabbing a file, clicking on it and uploading it. So these are the main functions that you're going to need to get started with over on high school's remote learning. Remember the most important apps that you will need are the Teams app, the OneNote app, the OneDrive app, and probably any of the other Microsoft 365 apps such as PowerPoint and Excel. Thank you for listening.